Rentonville County Baseball lost to Surrey in last year's District 2 championship, but the Muskrats avenged that loss against the Blue Sox yesterday. That gave them a shot at the number one seed, Burlington. The Bulldogs are the tournament hosts this year. Renville outfielder Kellen Henry hit a leadoff double. That sets up Joe Savilkul, yesterday's home run hitter, to put one into the grass in the outfield. Kellen comes around third, puts the Scrats up 1-0 in the first inning. Paxton Eastas pitching for Burlington. This ball is a line drive, hits a Connor Coons at second, tags the base, slides into it. Solo double play from Coons ends the inning, and Renville up by one. Bottom of the first, Drew Rodeker lays down a bunt to third. The throw misses first base. There's enough time for Paxton Eastas to score. Burlington took a 6-1 lead by the end of the inning. Eastas also a great day on the mound. He had a handful of strikeouts, and the Bulldogs are going to the championship game. This morning, Surrey defeated Kenmare, so they're playing Renville right now. Well, that game is delayed in the top of the sixth inning. Kakoa Munoz has a triple and two runs batted in for Surrey. The winner will play Burlington tomorrow at 1 in the afternoon. In rugby, defending District 3 champs Kandu picked up a 6-5 win over Rala earlier in the afternoon. In extra innings, Rala, the sixth seed, is playing rugby right now after a series of rain delays. That's the word of the day for a chance at Kandu in the championship tomorrow. Despite last night's loss, the Minot Hot Tots have had a relatively good start to the second half of the season. The Tots are 5-10 since the records reset and are in fourth place ahead of the Minnesota Mud Puppies and the last place Larks. Counting tonight, there are 21 games remaining in the 72 game season. So there's still an outside shot that Minot goes on a run toward the playoffs. They're five games behind the first place Rocks. That's who the Tots play tonight at Corbett Field. Minot had the lead after the first inning yesterday, but a lot of walks and hit batters quickly changed that up for a St. Cloud win. Paxton Miller. Bismarck Legacy grad and current U Mary Marauder is pitching for Minot. We'll have highlights on First News at 10, weather permitting, of course. We'll be right back.